What are you, what are you talking about? So today I'll be talking about Meta Room Markup. <laughs> so, uh, so I, for two months ago, I started to build this uh, virtual reality editor. Now, I, then I tried to uh, find a really suitable markup for my, to, to describe my virtual reality world. So that's GLAM, that's Scene VR, that's um, 3JS JSON. But the thing is, most of them is uh, declarative 3D. When I say declarative 3D, I mean that, you know, I declare triangle, cube, and all this kind of thing. But I want something that is more modular in a way, like, just like how HTML describes our page. Like, you know, table, right? How do you represent table in 3D? Uh, actual 3D table like this one, right? So that's what I imagine declarative or modular 3D will look like. So I set off to create this uh, this project. That isn't an obvious mapping at all. You're equivocating. Sorry again. Questions after five minutes. I'm. All right. So so the idea is you see canvas right now now become WebGL and then SVG become X3D and then HTML I don't know what it will be yet. So, but how I imagine virtual reality website will be is uh, actual room like how do you let's say I want to create a website for. Uh, shop or something like that. So I imagine that it will be that actual room that I need to describe in my virtual reality HTML, right? So the idea is you start with meta words, you you create this meta room, and then you create meta wall, and then inside the meta wall there's poster, and then you align it right, left, front, back, ceiling, and meta floor. Meta floor is very important for most of the cases because most of the item will be there like meta floor and meta table with style grid. I'm thinking meta think about the grading system is like I graded five in this room, right? Five X, five Y, and then zero zero I put the table over there. Five five I put another table over there. So meta meta table and then I put the T head. So what's T head? So I imagine T head is a side of the table. So over there we will put let's say cashier or something like that. And then meta t t body. Also, what's t body? In I imagine that it's the surface of the table. So in the surface of the table, that I grid it, and then I put item on it. Let's say cashier and stuff like that, right? So uh, meta red and all this kind of thing. So I'll do a quick demo over here. So this I use polymer web component to do all this thing. So um, so now it's just a simple thing. So as you can see, meta row, meta wall. So if I remove this, left, right, left, yeah, here, you see, it disappeared, <coughs> right, so right away, and then after that, then I switch the right to left, see, over there, right, disappeared. So this is uh, just a prototype that I've been doing with. Hopefully, eventually, that, you know, um, I need to add test to element, <laughs> I just prototype it only, and then I hope that the CSS will change the shader, and then eventually use GLC5 because G I think GLC5 is very really awesome. It's like, you know, because all these game developers, they hide all their shader function, but I hope that GLC5 will bring that up, you know, eventually. And then I was thinking of, you know, like table. So how do you represent table? You got legs and stuff like that, four, five. So I stumbled upon this functional modeling. I think it's quite interesting. So it's like, you can put arguments into the models. Let's say four legs, five legs, and then the functional modeling will draw up the model accordingly. So I think that might be an interesting idea, but I'll work on that later. So, and then, and then I was thinking of website scrolling effect. Like normally we will browse through website, what do you do, you scroll, right? I was thinking maybe in the 3D world, you need to follow a certain path. You know, I define this scrolling path. So when you scroll down, I'll just follow this so that to show you all the important things to travel. So, and meta link also, like after you click this thing, you go to another room, stuff like that, or meta door, I don't know. So it's a web component, that means that this this can be pushed to uh, NPM, right? So in the keyword there, you just say meta room, right? So it'll be, the, then we can search from there. So I think it's a good idea that, you know, everyone can contribute and work on their meta tag in a way. Right, that's all for me, for how many minutes? Oh, uh, you got 20 seconds. Oh, just good. All right. Okay, um, ten, five minutes of questions.
what's your intended application? Uh, um, uh, for now, uh, um, I'm talk my brother is talking to a, uh, what do you call that? Antique shop. Yeah, so the uh, one of the antique shop is closing, so they hope that you know they can move it online. So that's uh, that's I think that will be our first client, and then this thing will be open source. I'm not planning to you know pattern or something like that. It's, it will be MIT. Huh? Bird's eye view from PubMed. No, not that. <laughs> well, virtual reality. Like, yeah. uh, like game or something. Yeah, like game. FPS, move around. Uh, yeah. Since it's not a game, since it's a VR, you need to do like stereoscopic kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it's done already. So if I click this, then. Uh, I don't. Have, I didn't bring my Oculus Rift. If I plug in my Oculus Rift and I use Mozilla, uh, what the guy, Mozilla Nightly, it will just work. Yeah. I, I think I should have bring my Google Street. But if you go to uh, my website, can I make it work? Yeah, yeah, it works also. <coughs> yeah, if you want, you can go to my website vrcollab.com and then it works. Yeah. Right. So, so I mean, you invented your own markup here, didn't you? Or not? Yeah, I invented my markup. It's based on HTML. Based on HTML, just yeah, so quickly you based you on HTML. You don't need a meta dash, do you? I mean, uh, because I need a meta dash because of uh, I use Polymer. Yeah, Polymer no, needs the custom elements in general. Uh, yeah. You need to have yeah. those namespaces. So eventually, I hope to remove that if it becomes official. But uh, for no, now, just no, it won't because even the official standard, which is custom yeah. elements, yes. which is an HTML5 standard, requires you to have a hyphen. I was thinking of straight away. Not using HTML, instead using my own. Eventually, right? I mean, if they catch no, but fire, eventually, even when the final standard even finishes, they will always. I'm talking about the finishes. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, what I meant. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. You don't want to be a HTML. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I don't think eventually it shouldn't be HTML in a way because it's like it, it seamlessly go from this website to another website in virtual reality. I think it makes more sense. For now, it's just embedded like an iframe-ish thing. My, my other comment, my, my wife works in interior design and uh, most uh, architect websites are really, really, really shite. <laughs> like you cannot yeah. get any information from them. Like the plans, even even the floor plans, which are freaking two D, are, are are a waste of space. So, I mean, what is the problem? Why can't they? Why can't architects upload a working thing floor plan? Because that's a lot of work to do, I guess. They all all have to do is export to PNG. Job done. Oh, PNG supports three D. No, no, I'm talking like a floor plan. I'm talking two D. So just a full plan, just a full plan, just like a top down. Off topic. Anyway, that's just my, that's, that's my complaint. But uh, obviously, this would be next level shit for those guys. I don't know. <laughs> but being able to explore a design before it's say built is pretty awesome, especially through the web. Okay, one more minute of questions. Okay, wait. Oh. What's your raw data for three D? OBJ wave wave front. OBJ wave front. Is it called wave front? I forgot. Wave something. <laughs> yeah. So the GitHub. Oh, cracky. Can you send me that it's URL? Uh, no, it's private. It's it's private? I'm working it's with him together. Uh, oh, so uh, whoever want to work what together with me, will work together OBJ. first. Then OBJ. only I will pub, uh, TV, make it public. Uh, oh, okay. Because it's not ready yet. There's data like data. so many shit code inside. So well, most ninety nine percent of GitHub projects are not ready. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll do it now. <laughs> this is the final package. Where is it? Ah, there this you is really exciting. Oh, right danger here. zone. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what, are you going to delete it? That's mental. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I got a priority. Um, uh, you don't have to do this on the screen. What about that? Meta room. No, you just got to check that. Right, I'm going to get a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Open source. I understand. Okay. Make this right. Open source. Have you done it? Ah, yeah. oh, 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 I didn't get it. Oh. 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 Such a easy. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> We're running out of time Pressure, here, man. That is a lot. Yeah. 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 All right. Good okay. God.